Hello again, everybody, and this is Justin Pontarelli coming back at you with some more Interstellar Pilot. And today, uh, I'm going to hopefully try to answer at least two, um, maybe even three viewer questions in the form of a video. Um, one, one, well, one of them is kind of overdue, but I'm going to start with the easier one first, okay? And that one is very simple. It's uh, how to how to do some mining. So let's get right into that, and we'll make a video out of it, shall we? So let's go ahead and do a uh, a new game. So let's say you are doing a simple universe map game. All right. Now you could do a custom game, and that that's fine. Okay. And if you do a custom game, I'm assuming you might be started off near a refinery, or maybe not. The problem is you might have to do some exploring, which means looking around, contacting explorers, hailing them, asking for information, buying it, and ultimately flying around and finding the place you need to go to drop off your cargo. Okay, and a quick heads up, mining can be... Well, it can be a pain. <laughs> it's not fun. I don't like doing it. So anyway, but we're going to, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use the Uncharted Space Universe. Let's click Next. So um, we're going to go ahead and start with the mining, with the miner vessel. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Um, I want some money to work with, so... We're going to go ahead and, because I mean, you can do a mining a mining vessel, but let's do this. Okay. So you're probably thinking, you're, you're really doing this, this is overkill, right? I mean, this is, this is, this is overkill, I'm not going to lie, you know, it really is. Hold on, guys, it's okay. Overkill or not, this is going to work, I, I promise. So we're in Gatopia with our huge... Uh, military battleship thing. Really is overkill at this point. My ship is called the Hasty. That's interesting. So where's my fleet anyway? Properties. Okay, they're they're docked. So that, that's that's cool. Let's go ahead and orders. Um, let's go with uh, fleet settings. Prefer to dock. Let's get rid of that. Oh, you know what? Should have just jumped done that in the first place. That's fine. I'll just do dock and cloak. Although they can't, that that's fine. And uh, we don't we don't need to do that. That's fine. Okay, so that's gonna be the duck. In orders, he should be on fleet one as well. And because we already set the the fleet orders, he should already be set up. Look, see, dock, cloak, and stance is all set. And we'll just take this thing here. And we're going to go ahead and fly him into the nearest mining area. Yeah, hold, unless, let me, let me double check something. You know what, no, never mind, we, that's not going to be any good. Um, let's just go to Andrew, shall we? Okay. So you're probably thinking, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to try to answer the question and show you guys how to mine, or more specifically, uh, answer the question of one of my viewers. As opposed to going into a long and um, lengthy and rather boring text explanation, this will be more fun, okay? First of all, um, if you start off as a miner, you're going to start off inside uh, one of the rocky areas, okay? And I really should have turned on with turned this on with everything already explored, so this is annoying. Forgot to click the right button. That's okay. Never mind. It's alright. Androla should be one of the rocky regions. Although if you start off as a miner in uncharted in uncharted space, um basically you end up in the icy sector. 
So let's turn on our scanner. And... Got some rocks, no problem. No targets found. That's that's kind of annoying, though. Uh, transport. Th yeah, these guys might have intel. Already an Androl, so let's go ahead and ask for and Androl stuff. I need no bases. Okay. Um. Let's try. Let's try Trek House. There's a DSMC, a laser turret, which might mean there's a, a thing over there in, in Trekos. Uh, let's go ahead and buy Lemus Info 2. Okay. Eagle, which is a um, the name of typically one of the enemy bandit teams, so, okay. So we're going to try mining in Trekos, okay. But first, I'll just do a quick verbal walkthrough of what happens when you um, start a game as a miner. So, like I said, first of all, they, they start you off in a mining area with with rocks or ice rocks. And typically, you're nearby a refinery, okay? If you're playing Uncharted Space, it's probably going to be the DSMC, Deep Space Mining Corporation, Okay. Um, and it's really a simple process of using your scanner. You click on your thing, your three lines in the corner, click on scanner, click on the rock icon, and click the nearest rock and fly towards it, okay? And then, well, the rest is kind of a visual thing, so we'll, we'll get to that point, though. And since I don't want to bore you guys with the rest of the details, or the rest of me, you know, babbling... Um, while we're flying to Treco, so I'm just going to pause the video, recording, and um, get back to you in a few minutes, okay guys? See you soon. Alright, we're back. Um, and right now we're we're almost there. It's going to take a while because it's we're only going at like 20 speed, so that's it's really the fastest this thing goes right now. So... We did a little more information buying. Real simple process. Again, three bars in the corner, uh, left-hand corner. Click on Scanner. Click on the little ship's icon, and typically you can talk to anyone, but you know it, usually you get more information from explorers. So if, if next to their name or their faction it says Explorer, click on that dude, for example, and you know talk to him with the little communications icon. Click on Intel, you can click on Buy, and you're all set. So we got more information from one of these explorers, and we have some locations of all these stations right now, which is nice. And you might be asking, well, why start off as a fleet owner? Well, because in my opinion, in, in my opinion, to really do this properly, you need money. Okay, you just, you need the money. Alright. Let me, hold on a second, guys. Let's do docking bay. Um, oops, what's going on here? What's going on? Yeah, we're, we're okay. Should be fine, okay. Don't want to sell all these guys at once, but I just I do want him sold. Let's hop on the duck here. What's going on? Did we get a auto pilot? What is going on? Who's shooting who? I, I want to say it's no, it's not him. Okay, it's no big deal. So let's hop in the uh, Ness. You know what?
Let's take both of these guys. We're not, we're, we're not going to sell both of them, I don't think. Um, there you go. Okay. But I want to sell the Ness, at least. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to buy a ship. So obviously step one is to buy a hauler M, right? That's the first thing you want to do is get your hauler, or you start off as a hauler. Okay, now here's why I wanted to buy, or here's why I wanted the money, because, um, I want a better mining beam, and I want to be able to cloak, and all sorts of stuff. So, the problematic thing is, the default mining vessels have things loaded in them that you're probably not going to need. And you also want the space, in my opinion, for more cargo and less weaponry, okay? Although the ability to defend yourself is very vital, so it's up to you guys what you want to do. Um, first things first, we're going to ignore all the fighting and we're going to find the nearest um, friendly base, military base, which will be in Beta Pandola. So yeah, we're going to be doing some more flying first, before we can even start to answer the question. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Anyway. But yeah, I wanted the money because, well, um, in my opinion, you can start off doing basic mining, and that's fine. But eventually upgrades become important, because it makes the process a little faster. And eventually the equipment does pay for itself. So it's, it's worth the investment. Okay? As long as you're willing to spend the money and are patient enough to wait for the investment to pay for itself. Okay. So basically what we're doing right now is we're going to go to Beta Pandola to take all the weaponry off this thing to make more cargo room. And we're going to buy a better uh, mining laser turret, whatever. And make a few more upgrades too. So this thing can go faster and can cloak and all sorts of stuff, okay? And also so it can take a few more hits before blowing up. In the meantime, I know this video is going to be kind of dry for... Um, any experienced players, but that's okay. Um, you know, we all start off, obviously, at some point as beginners. And it's always nice to, you know, have people who are willing to show us how the game works. I going to say, where is the military base? You know, it's around here somewhere. So whenever you're looking for um, ways to upgrade your ships, you always want to go to the military base. Okay, because that's where you're going to find the main upgrades. Although I think I just made one mistake, because I think the mining laser upgrade can only be found at the refinery. But this will at least help us to do everything else, like go fast, cloak, that kind of thing. And it will also serve as a nice way to dump our cargo as well. I mean, not just dump it, just, you know, just dump it. We also want to sell it off. At least make a little bit of money from it, right? So again, this is not part of the process of how to mine. It's just I'm trying to set up, set this thing up so it's at least the way I like it before I actually do any mining. Because in my opinion, starting off as a miner is a very slow, methodical plotting thing to do. And it takes a little bit of patience. But if you're going to do it, well, this is the way I would do it. Okay. So trade and dump all your stuff. Sell, sell, sell. You don't you don't really need it. Unless you plan on getting in some real fights. Um, in this case, because we have the money, we can go here to equipment and buy some cool stuff. Uh, front mining turret is going to turn into the advanced which apparently this station does have that, which is awesome. 
Uh, that can that thing can apparently stay as it is. Although you could actually sell it if you needed to, because you can. Um, and apparently it cannot be equipped with anything else. Since we're not going to equip missiles, we're going to turn this into a laser uh, turret, cannon, whatever. Laser tur 2, sorry, laser 2. The rear can also stay as a laser 2. Uh, we don't need that, so I'm just going to sell it anyway, because why not? The shield, well, guess what? I'm going to bump this up all the way to the max. Engine can be upgraded as well. Power gen, upgrade, why not? Capacitor, you know. No reason not to upgrade a capacitor. It's kind of cheap, so why not upgrade that thing? And guess what? This thing can cloak, so... Or not, I didn't mean to do that, though. Didn't mean to do that. I just need that. And countermeasure? Well, you never know. We might eventually equip ECM. So, there you go. And now... We're ready to fly... Faster. Just a little faster, apparently. And now we can cloak and all sorts of cool stuff. So now we're getting ready to actually answer the, the actual question, which is, how do you mine? What is the actual process? Okay. So let's get the obvious out of the way. If you're starting off as a miner, you're not going to have access to the kind of money that's going to enable you to buy a cloaking device or an advanced mining laser, or anything else that I just did, okay? You're not going to have that. Being a miner is about being patient and shooting your beam at rocks. It's, that's pretty much how it is, okay? And I'm going to show you both the manual way to do it and the automated way, okay? And when you buy a mining vessel by default, the ship gives you everything you need to, to have. Uh, the ship gives you everything you're going to want. My best piece of advice, though, is this. Stick as close as you possibly can to the refinery that you're going to be working with. Okay? Stick as close as you possibly can. Because at some point, you're going to get attacked by pirates. So you can either keep... Your weapons on you and lose some cargo space or you can do what I just did and sell them all off to make room for more rocks and ice okay which will be your main cargo all right so my first goal is this get as close to that to the refinery as possible and then find the closest rocks to mine from simple as that and if enemies come along, you can try to shoot them, or you can hide and let the nearby laser turrets do all the work for you, which is what I would prefer that you do. So now at this point, we don't need to go anywhere else. We just stop, bring up your rock scanner, scan for those rocks, and look for the closest one, which in this case is really far away. But hey, that's okay. Away we go. However, let's... Double check. There might be a um, nearby explorer that can show us that there's closer rocks. I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's check out Trader Nani. Maybe she has some intel for us. Bisector intel. We're in Trekos. And there's nothing. Nothing for us. That's fine. Let's check out our sector map just in case. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, that that's fine. Okay, so scanner. Click on that, click on the nearest asteroid, whatever it is, and fly towards it. Now, in reality, you're not going to be cloaked. You're not going to have the cloaking device unless you buy a mining vessel when you are when you have the money. But, you know, anyway, so... Um, so, in reality, yeah, you would start off without the cloaking device. Okay. The next part is really simple. As long as you have clicked on the rock or the asteroid that you're going to mine from, as soon as you're close enough, your targeting lasers will light up. In this case, you want to wait for your mining laser to light up. Okay. 
uh, which we've we've got to let up. So let's just back up though. There does seem to be like a bit of a sweet spot, like like a certain a particular range that you want to be at, which I think might be around 100 or so. Let's get a little closer though. And uh, there you go. Click on your mining laser. It's in this case mine is M2 is, is M2. And this is it. You just shoot it. You can pretty much shoot it if you want as soon as it lights up, or you can wait for the bar to fully be green. Okay. I don't know what is better because I don't typically do a lot of mining. So just to experiment and see what works for you. And as you can see, there you go right there. See it? See what I just did? Okay. So let me explain to you what just happened. Eventually a rock will break off and it's going to light up blue, meaning that's your rock. You worked for it, you earned it. And you can click on the uh, you can click on the icon that will light up near your energy or your speed control bar and automatically haul it in. Now I'm going to do this again except next time I'm going to do an automatic or sorry, not an automatic, but a manual targeting, okay? Where I manually target the rock with my tractor beam as opposed to using the um, the auto function. Now, I'm just going to pause it for the sake of explanation. So see the, uh, the blue box? That's my rock. Notice how above my speed bar, just to the right, it looks like a little green rock with like a little magnet tractor beam thing going towards it, right? You can click that button, or I'll, well, you can do this. So go to your scanner, uh, scanner, cargo, click on your on your piece, which just got stolen, <laughs> and that guy's a jerk. So I might have to, I might have to kill him. He's he's a thief. Now you can also shoot at the rocks. Yeah, you know what? Okay, hold on. See that? Click on it. There you go. So if you know what if you know what button your uh, um your mining beam or sorry your your tractor beam is, you can click on the object two in space and just tractor it. Okay, and that should be okay as well. And ultimately, that's all there is to it, guys. Just get within a certain distance and just have at it. Okay, so again, shoot the rock with the. M2 or your M1 laser beam. Alternatively, you can shoot them with regular lasers, but typically nothing happens. So just M1 or M2. Click on your icon that pops up, or you can manually click on the target and click your tractor beam. Now, this is this way. This has been the manual way of doing it. It's boring. It's pointless. Um, and but if you're new to the game. It's a safe way to make money. And let me show you the automatic way. Click on your three bars in the lower left hand corner. Click on ship. Click on orders. Click on fleet settings. Um, I would just argue prefer to dock, cloak, stance, don't attack, don't intercept. This guy's out here to work, not to get beaten up or pick fights. And then click on fleet settings again. Go to special, click on mine asteroids. So what's he doing now? He's finding a target that he prefers. Okay. He cloaked because he's moving. Once he finds us, once he finds a target, he's going to uncloak. Okay. Now he's slowing down because he's probably found a target. And it looks like it's this one right in front of us right here. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. It looks like he's just maneuvering to get a better shot, is all he's really doing. Okay. Yeah, any time now. Unless being, cloaked is being, unless being cloaked is messing him up. I'm not sure. It could be. We're gonna give us, like, another half a minute. If he doesn't start shooting something, I'm gonna just, uh... Assume it's the cloaking device. 
Yeah, you know what? I think it's the cloaking device. I really do. So three bars. Ship, orders, fleet settings, and get rid of the cloak. Okay. So any time now. There you go. So it was the cloak. And right now I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a single thing. He's doing this all on his own. Okay, he tractored it on his own. I did not push that button. The computer automates this whole process for you. And it seems to actually become faster and better because the computer just seems to, to hit the sweet spots. Like, I swear, there's like sweet spots on these rocks and the computer knows where to hit them. Okay? So how does this end? So ship, cargo, it ends as soon as your cargo usage capacity is full. And you'll see at that point what the computer does. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's not the most glamorous job. It's not the most interesting job in space, apparently. But typically it's safe unless some enemies come along and want to pick a fight, which is why I would insist upon, well, watch your scanner, seriously. Watch your enemy, you know, watch your ship scanner. You know, because you can just simply automate the process and watch for enemy ships coming in, and if you're equipped with a cloaking device like I am, you just cloak. That's all you do is cloak, okay? Now, why is he, uh, stuck? I'm not sure why he's stuck. He's looking for a buyer. That's weird. That's really weird. Let's go to log. Let's go to cargo prices. Let's go to copper ore. One right there. I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, this 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 thing's catatonic. Let's just click. Let's get off autopilot. Okay. So we are full. Let's let's con let's confirm that. Uh, ship orders, or no, sorry. Uh, yeah, ship uh, ship cargo. Yeah, yeah, we're full. Usage use, yeah, usage is sixty five out of sixty five. And yeah, he's he's gonna uh yeah. This will take a little time anyway, so. Let's get going here. So at this point, just go to the nearest refinery. Obviously not an orange or red refinery, because if you go to an orange one, you're probably not going to be able to get in without using a forced dock, you know, uh, a forced docking uh, trick. Um, alternatively, going to a red one is not, it's going to get you killed anyway, so don't, don't do it. So now here's how you do this manually. Hop on in, using that little button right above the uh, the speed bar. Go to trade. Then simply click on sell. Sell your stuff. And guess what? You made some money. Congrats. Want to know how much? Well, let's go to transactions. So log transactions and then check it out. We made around 7,000 credits. A little over 7,000 credits. Alright. Now if you want to know which... What brings you more money? Let's go to cargo prices. You can mine two things. You can mine ice. I'm sorry, three things. You can mine ice. One moment, guys. Okay, guys, so I, I just had to pause the video, real, the recording real quick because I wanted to. Uh, my little bro wanted to talk to me, and apparently he says that I just reached 100 subs just now. I'm like, whoa, okay, that's, that's interesting. Like, I didn't do anything. I just. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, uh, yeah. So you can you can harvest or get three things from rocks. You can get copper ore, um, iron ore, or ice. Okay. Now ice is only worth about 130 credits. Iron is about 105. And copper is worth 127. 
So currently, if you want to make more money, we need to find ice. Okay? And simple enough, if you want to know where ice happens to be, go to Log, go to Universe Map, and ice can be found in Halimus. See the little bluish, greenish asteroid thing? That indicates an ice field, or ice rocks. Okay, so you would go there. But the process is the same. Okay? So essentially, here's what you do. Undock. In my opinion, do it automatically, you know? Click on the three bars. Ship. Orders. Fleet settings. Um, yeah, don't, so don't cloak. But definitely prefer to dock. Stance. Do not attack hostiles or intercept hostiles. Otherwise, this thing will spend time looking for fights as opposed to doing his job. And you don't want a ship that's so lightly armed to get into a fight, okay? Unless you have him well armed and you only have so much, um, you know, cargo capacity for weaponry. But on a, on a hauler like this, I prefer to save the cargo capacity for weapon or see, so, sorry, for the rocks and not the, uh, the missiles or stuff, right? So don't do that. Anyway. Now I'm just gonna like rambling on like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, go back to uh, this section here. Special mine asteroids. Oh boy. So the question becomes what happens when bandits attack? Well, the good news is they might not go for you. Okay. And if they do, in this case, we're just going to cloak and run away. Um, because I cannot hold down three enemy vessels with this little thing. It's not going to work. Okay. So right now this thing is on autopilot. He's on auto mining, which is, makes the job much easier. Which allows you to hold to watch your scanner and watch out for bandits. Okay. Now let's say you had, you know, multiple mining vessels and you were not actively controlling them, okay? Let's say you have a message saying, ship under attack, right? That's a lot of distress calls, wow. So you go to log, you go to properties, and let's say you were, let's say you were, let's see, yeah, let's say you were inside of the duck, okay? So you have more than one ship. You're inside of the duck. Whoa, what just happened? Yeah, so let's say you're here, you're inside of the duck, and you go to log because something's under attack. You go to properties, go here, you can go to orders, and then you can do stuff like tell it to return to base, okay? And to set up a home base, you go here, Fleet Settings. And he should be on Fleet 1 anyway. Mining Asteroids. And then you could do something like set that up as the base. So there you go, now his base is, in the re is Refinery A in Trekos. Okay. Or let's say he's under attack and you can simply... I don't know, tell him to cloak, I guess. Uh, but it might have to be done uh, manually. So as soon as you get the message saying, hey, he's under attack, as long as he can cloak, hop in, and um, just tell him to cloak. And I'm not sure what happened. He should not be cloaking, I don't think. Okay, so yeah, that's... We don't want that to happen. So apparently it gets in the way of him actually doing his job. So yeah, now see how it's autopilot engaged? Now he's selling cargo on his own. Nice, right? So the whole thing can be can be automated, okay? So let's review though. How do you do it manually? Okay, again. Look for a rock to mine from. Scanner. Rock. Click on the nearest one. Get close enough to it. 
start shooting it with your mining laser, which is either M1 or M2. When you see the little blue box pop off of the big rock, you can click on the little icon that comes up next to your speed bar and just click on it and drag the rock into your cargo, cargo bay. Or you can manually click on your target on the screen and then manually manually click on the, uh, the tractor beam icon, which will do the same job, okay? And try not to steal other people's rocks because you'll make enemies real fast, okay? They don't like that. Okay, they, they, will desert, they will decide not to like you if you steal from them. Uh, let me just give you an example, if I can get, get one for you guys. Let's go to Scanner, uh, Cargo. That's too far away. Shoot. Come on. Too far away. And yes, while you're doing this, you can help them by automatically, um, where is it? Oh, he, he already got it. Ah. They're fast, huh? You can help your own ship out by, by hauling in their, by hauling in your cargo. That's too far away. I can't get up to it. But if there's a closer one, I could actually steal it and you would see the reaction. Okay. So just don't do it. Don't don't steal their cargo. If it's not your rock. Don't don't take it. Simple. Okay. So yeah, guys, it's, it's this it's this simple. It's this easy. Okay. So again, if I wasn't automatically doing this, okay. Let's. I'm gonna get a little closer. I think. That's fine. So make sure you have the big rock clicked on the asteroid. Click on M1 or M2 on your weapons bar. Manually pick up or automatically pick up your cargo by either clicking on the smaller rock and hauling it in, but not theirs. <laughs> okay. Or either way, I mean, that's that's how you do it, guys. Okay, real simple. And uh, that's it. Okay. And again, the automatic way is simple. Click on the three bars in the lower left-hand corner. Ship. Orders. Fleet settings. Prefer to dock, but not cloak. Apparently cloaking messes them up. Go to stance. Do not have hostiles or... or yeah, sorry. Do not have attack or intercept checked off. Leave that alone. This guy's not here to battle anything. He's just out here to do a job, right? Then... Set up a home base if you'd like. Oops. This keeps getting all messed up, doesn't it? Okay. And then, uh, special mine asteroids. There you go. Better. Then after that, it's real simple. Um, he'll fill up on cargo. And then he will return to his to a drop-off point to sell his stuff. And there you go. You got some money coming in. In the meantime, what I recommend, seriously, though, is uh, get into another ship and have some fun. <laughs> because eventually you're going to realize something. Mining is kind of boring if you're doing it by hand. And it's a good way to make safe money. But it's not a fun way to make money, okay? With that being said, um, the next question that I was asked has to do with um, having like a Magnus, having your own ships docked with it, then basically can those ships automatically, re automatically reload? Offhand, I want to say the answer is no. But we're going to double check anyway and go through the process of testing that out. So, because anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, especially if you ask, if you're the one that asked the question about mining and how to do it. Okay. And um, I hope it wasn't too dry or boring. 
I'm sorry for my lack of energy. I'm kind of tired. Um, funny thing is that I just had coffee. So I'm probably like a little bit jacked up in the brain, but I'm kind of, I'm still kind of tired. You know, it's weird, right? You're like, my brain's jacked up. But my body just feels like really tired and sluggish too. So that's really weird. Anyway, guys, as always, uh, please leave any questions, comments, or constructive criticism down below. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.